Brad. Let's do the team. Some serious symbolism right here, man. The abstraction is on the canvas. Bam, bam, bam! That's actually the kind of work that I make. I'm vibrant, full of life. That's another thing about me. I, don't, I really don't care one one for how you should do things. I just do what I think I should be doing. Who's that? Who's that? Uh, that's a friend of mine that said yes to my crazy ideas. So, but it's it's not actually about him. It's uh, some symbolism going on. But yeah, that's that's actually the kind of work that I make. What does the hand, if I'm not shooting, what does the hands represent? Uh, the hands represent. It was based on the seven deadly sins or something. Yeah, seven deadly sins, and um, I was looking at how, you know, um, back in the day they used to have punishment. So there's like a painting that they did back in the, I think 18th century, I believe, mm. where they had like the seven deadly sins, and these are the repercussions if you do these sins. And then I thought, hold on, the most powerful thing uh, as a human is using body language and sign language and stuff like that. So I got very intrigued and um, I hollered at a couple of people and wrote the seven deadly sins, like just the words, and then, said, and then I said to them, how would you, if you were to use your hands and you couldn't speak, how would you sign these words? And... Um, this is this was the best out of all of them and basically pride um, greed gluttony you know all of that stuff is in there and then the centerpiece is you uh, is based on the the notion of you being created in the image of God mm. so I lit the hands really well because you know we're always attracted to things like if it because I'm looking from a religious point of view uh, in a religion you're always attracted to things that are supposed to be sinful but I don't believe in oh this is good this is bad and that's a sin and that's not that's just part of being human so it was the sins I made them look really nice like the hands are very well lit and then I put the image of self far back from the mirror a bit darker because that's what happens when you start getting consumed by what you feel is evil and you don't quite know what to do um, and it's like oh yeah I don't really like the image of myself anymore mm -hmm. but that's the most powerful image you see the face first before you see the hands mm -hmm. even though the hands are well lit and the face is a bit far and what's the reason far with behind. the head and the, being the round because yeah. the circle represents um, eternal life so there's, there's a lot of like um, looking at is was, was really looking at Christianity and how these beliefs what these beliefs mean and how I see them and my perception of these things so it's, the circle is usually a symbol of eternity, eternal life you know that's it, that's yeah. you so the face is in the circle representing I am created in the image of God and it, that's not going to change you're always going to be like that. So, regardless of what is surrounding you, you're always going to have to face yourself. Because that's, that's eternal. Like, you can't, you can't really change okay, who you wait. are. This is what I do when I can't quite work it out on a lens. It's, it's not quite making uh, sense in, the, in a... What I mean by that is... Um, it's an idea that's just colours and represents a t maybe a time or a, or a song or a feeling. So this is like how I work out my pictures. Mm. Does that make sense? <laughs> so, yeah, that's why there's always like, in, in the paintings, there's always like loads of different colours. Um, I see a lot of rotations as well. Yeah, there's a lot so of cool. movements. Uh... And it's all based on 
my relationship with music, how I how I hear music. This one how it I reminds feel. me of like vinyl kind of. Yeah, see? Yeah. I I, I, I was vinyls. not doing vinyls. Maybe like a <laughs> mix. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, uh, probably, but maybe I was probably going through, I want to be a DJ. I don't know. I always <laughs> wanted to be a DJ or a rapper. But that's not going to happen. So, yeah, these are the, this is like, I mean, I haven't even painted for a while now. Um, but this is what I go through when I... I can't do the lens based stuff. I'm just like, oh, I need to think. And I just get one of my canvases and boom, this happens. Voila. This one's funny because everyone says that. Is it this way? Is it that way? It, it like is however you yeah. want it to be because it's just like, I um, painted it it's in it's like every it's, direction. It's actually a reminder that we're in Picasso's house. <laughs> That's what that says. <laughs> Well, you don't know where up is, or where down is, or where left or right. The gravity doesn't exist. Doesn't exist. I painted this in every direction known to a canvas. Like, I, w I was in funny angles. I was putting it on the table, on the floor, um, outside. So you're actually moving with it. Yeah, like, it moved. It, it even... This went onto a suitcase. Mm. which is upstairs because I felt like there wasn't enough canvas <laughs> space to do what I'm doing but funny enough it's not finished and the suitcase n never got finished anyway because you need to oh. trouble with the suitcase but yeah that's that's what happens to me um yeah that's I don't know some people someone looked at it the other day and said they can see a a, a, a beautiful bird or something no i can see and the bird actually a baby they said they see a, a baby a, like a fetus yeah I can see a pregnant fetus. woman bro yeah, I, can see, I, I was see like it. what and, and, and also at the same time of it looking like the the fetus it also looks like a spaceship oh. I've and it looks like musical instruments even a well. bird like my a sister lot, said so. she can see trainers. a bird trainers yeah, okay trainers. that makes sense i love trainers see i like drawing eyes i like painting eyes and mouth, mouth and, and water mm. there's that's always a thing water reflection of water i think that's why my paintings are really colorful i don't know maybe a critic can do a better job than i'm doing but yeah those those three things water eyes and mouth are very important i don't know why but i keep drawing them I feel like there's like loads of things going on with those three things in my life. But yeah, that's um. A few of the pieces. It's a few of the pieces. Uh, the Jesus piece. The Jesus piece is that one. <laughs> <laughs> that's the Jesus piece, and uh, this one. Do you know? Actually, I remember now. It's all coming back to me. This one, I really wanted to do, like, I was imagining how colour would look underwater. Mm. No one sees that, though. Nobody. But, yeah, it was based on how I see colour. And how it would look if I could see color underwater. It was like there was like a splash of color, like someone just dropped different colors in water. What would actually happen? Clearly, that wouldn't happen. Mm. That's too calculated. But that in my head, this is what it would look like. Because like these are like the paths in, and then it. And then it does its thing, but it's because it's also because I feel like water has its own life. So if it likes something, or if it's attracted to something, it moves it in a in a way that it's gives it life and yeah. yeah yeah and and makes it blossom. And if it doesn't, it just gets rid of it and dies itself as well. So yeah, that's that's what that's based on, like life underwater. So how is your process different from when you're painting to when you're like creating concepts for like music videos and stuff. 
<laughs> with music videos, it starts with the music. Like it, it ha I almost have an idea. I can, it's probably the same, but I can hear the song and I can see the image. But here, there's a feeling, but then the song kind of evokes mm. the, like, oh, you could do it like this, you could do it like that. Whereas, oh, you need to do, we're going to do this music video. I already hear, I can already see what it will look like because of the song. Um, but they're very, they're both very similar. I think I work, now that you've asked me, I think it's all the same. Mm. Just reverse. <laughs> one comes before the other in the music sense but with painting uh, yeah it's usually there's something I'm already thinking I'm already trying to grasp and it doesn't make sense there's nothing in the world that makes sense of what I'm thinking about or what I'm trying to work out so then I will try and listen to different music and the music that I listen to when I'm painting has no words Mm. I specifically go for like just sounds so that it doesn't influence oh, me to influence, paint okay. something else mm. or move into something that wasn't initially what I was feeling. So I find sounds based on that thought. It's like, oh, these are the kind of sounds and then I put it together in a playlist and then that's all I listen to back to back until I feel like it's finished or in some cases not finished. But yeah. That's what, what about photography? How how do you come about um, ideas for and ideas? Yeah. Well, I see a lot of movement in the in the in photos. The photos. Yeah. Yeah, I just think I'm really addicted to. I think I'm addicted to movement. Again, I think it's my relationship with water, eyes, and mouth. Oh. Like I've got this thing about visuals. And I feel like visuals should always have a feeling of movement, like you're going from one place to another. And shoot and music is probably, you know, two 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 birds with one stone. Mm. <laughs> so for me, when I'm shooting when I'm shooting music, um, one I shoot only what I like, which is easy for for me. It's easy, and then I'm not I'm not kind of like shooting because i'm not a, a concert photographer i shoot music on stage i shoot performances on stage that are to do with music but i am not a concert photographer and the especially now that i'm doing a lot of um you know concert photos it's purely based on a project it's a project that i have i've mm. implemented upon myself <laughs> it's a serious brief that i've written um, that started what I started writing about two years ago because I was thinking about how I work a lot with music and this specific artist that I, I listen to a lot and how that would look if it was photographed and ready I'm not inventing something new this is something that people do this concept photography for a reason but I wanted to look at it from a perspective of okay this kind of music is currently coming up there's a narrative already. Um, there's a story there already. I tell stories visually. I make, I create concepts that have stories. Why not capture something that's already a story and see how that challenge will come along? And then from doing it, I've developed the idea even further into actually having conversation with the artist and making it into a, like a, like a, a story within a story where, mm. where I'm looking at oh I'm here I'm shooting you live because it's a painting in my head and right now I have a lens so I'm going to paint it and then later on contacting them and saying oh yeah this is what I think this is what my brief is would you be interested and most of the time it's a yes because it, it's, it's purely for them and because I'm a fan I'm coming from a fan perspective it's like no one's really told that story mm. how do fans if you if a fan would shoot a concert of their favorite artist what would that look like mm. and would they 
be so concerned about getting the best shot or concerned about shooting the artist as a memory of the time that they shot shot their favorite artist mm. so those are the kind of things that i'm um, again when i'm shooting i'm constantly thinking about everything i'm doing behind the scenes i'm constantly thinking oh you know it's not snap 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 for me it's the, right the image has to be telling that story that i'm at, that i'm building up for for the exhibition so it's 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 mm, it's a tricky one to kind of like verbalize but visually it's there like i have it in my head but this is why i'm an artist what's your nickname visual storyteller yeah i'm a visual storyteller that's 